Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. If you are a returning viewer, you guys, um, I'm doing something very, very different today. I just uploaded your Soul Connection in Separation Mid-September Love Reading. Today what I'm doing, um, or this reading rather, is um, guidance from your spirit animal. And I just did this for Aries. And I would love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear what you think of it. It's more of a general reading, just seeing, you know, what what is coming in for you. Um, the overall energy, the blessings, things that are blessing you, things that are challenging you, and looking to the future. And so I would very much appreciate your feedback on this. It is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with everyone. You guys, I am really going to be switching things up as far as my private readings and the videos that I'm posting on YouTube. And I did want to just share with you that I am offering a new reading. It's going on up on my website today. And it really is geared toward those people who are going through spiritual ascensions and they want to move toward greater authenticity. So basically they want the 3D and the 5D to align. The name of the reading is Live in Alignment and it's going to be up on my website. It is an hour long. It's $155. Okay. Um, so we'll look at, you know, what belief systems and patterns um, are keeping you from really aligning, you know, your purpose with, with your life and what that looks like. So anyway, wanted to just share that with you. Let me know if you have any questions on that. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can just click, be directed to online booking at awakenwithnancy.com. When booking a reading, please provide in the notes whether you want phone, Zoom, which is recordable or pre-recorded. If you'd like a pre-recorded and you are inquiring about a soul connection or love relationship, I would very much appreciate you putting in the notes your zodiac sign, your person's name, their sign, and just a brief description of what's going on between the two of you. Saves me a lot of time and follow up, very much appreciated. Okay, Taurus, this is amazing. Your spirit animal for the month of September is the wombat spirit, and this is be at home. And I find this very interesting. It's so perfect for you because you can be a bit of a homebody, meaning that you, you know, your personality, um, what your soul really needs is stability. It's all about those, um, you know, those things in life that make you feel safe, stable, and grounded. And that is a home, good food, you know, things like that. Very earthly, earthly things that make you feel at home. Um, so this is interesting, but there's a deeper message within this um, spirit animal that the spirit animal has for you. And you guys, this is a brand new reading, so I'm going to stumble like crazy. I just came up with this, so just bear with me, please. Um, yeah, this says, Home Sweet Home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. And Wombat Spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. So this is all about being authentically you. Um, you do this by accepting all your experience without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and your tribe. Everything that you do from this place rings true and is in harmony with spirit. So yeah, this is about moving more and more into authenticity and not hiding who you are from your friends, from your family, from society. So I love this message. Um, 
Now, the next message that we're getting for you, this is the overall guidance, and this is really interesting. This is Luminous Warrior. And the essence of this is the Luminous Warrior has no enemies in this world or the next. He is impeccable in word and deed. Oh, this is going beautifully with a wombat spirit, you guys. Again, this is confirmation to be yourself. Be impeccable. Speak your truth. Live your truth. And, you know, this, this luminous warrior lives in the light rather than what hides in the dark. This is about you releasing integrating those shadows that we all have and not letting those shadows cast doubt on you. It's, allow, it's allowing that to be part of you and re releasing any fear around that side of yourself so that you can embrace the light more and more. And this is going to help you as you do move into authenticity. Um, his power comes not from the sword, but from speaking his truth at all costs. And this is really about speaking your truth, even when it's not what others want to hear, even when it's difficult for you to speak it. And it's really interesting because the next card is the throat chakra. So um, that came through for Aries as well. So there is a theme about um, truth and clarity and, you know, really not holding back who you are. I love this. Um, the luminous warrior reminds you it is important to focus on your power, wisdom, and beauty. Do not be seduced by what seems wrong with you or with the world. Remember the intention follows attention. So focus on your positive traits. Feed your light with more light until you feel truly empowered. This is beautiful. Now, what I want to do here is I want to get um, a little tarot just to see what additional messages want to come through but this feels like it's all about authenticity to me being who you truly are and living in alignment isn't it funny that i brought up that reading let's see mm. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's time to lay down those burdens. And those burdens are the doubts, the fears, all of that truth that you do not speak, everything that you hold in. And we've got the High Priestess. And yeah, this is this is about really moving more into the light. It it is it's really interesting because you know, the luminous warrior is talking about the light and the dark, and this is exactly what it is. The high priestess, you know, is a very elevated being. She is all knowing. Um, she knows the truth. Um, she lives in the truth. And the 10 of wands is, you know, represents the dark side, the shadow side. It's those things that keep us stuck from really being who we are. It's like each one of these wands is a burden that we carry. It's, you know, feeling like we're not enough, um, being afraid of, of showing the world who we truly are, being afraid to speak our truth. Um, it's buying in to societal conditioning. Um, it's, you know, not rising up and moving in to the full divinity of who we actually are and can be. So this is amazing, you guys. I love it. Okay. Now, the blessings that are coming in for you or the, the thing that is blessing you is the throat chakra. And this is about truth. It is about communication. And it's about faith. It's also about spirituality. And 
you know, we, um, I, I want to share this with you guys. I, it was revealed to me recently that I took a vow of silence in a past life. And, you know, it's, I express myself, um, very well on paper, but in written form, but I do have a difficulty, um, speaking my truth, um, you know, ver verbally in the spoken, in the spoken form. And that's why you guys, I mean, I'm always kind of hesitating with my words and it's not because I'm thinking about what I can say. It's just, I, I need a lot of healing in my throat chakra. And I just released this, um, you know, this soul pattern, the soul contract that I had with this vow of silence, it's not serving me anymore. And my guides did say that the world needs my voice more now than ever. And so it's this healing of the throat chakra that I'm currently going through. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I feel um, that this is also something that is coming in for you. So if your throat chakra feels blocked, if it is hard to speak your words, speak your truth, I just feel that there is going to be a healing in this area and that this is going to be one of the biggest blessings to come to you in your life because what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to move deeper and deeper into this wombat spirit, this, um, this place where you just feel extremely integrated and whole and authentic. Um, you're living your life in alignment. So beautiful, beautiful. I do want to get some tarot on this. I just saw the magician. It did not come out, <laughs> but I did see it. Okay, we do have a theme coming through in this reading, you guys. Um, so with the throat chakra as your biggest blessing, the tarot coming through is the five of pentacles and the queen of cups, very opposite energies. Um, the tarot for the luminous warrior, for the overall energy, very opposite energies as well. So the theme is, you know, the light versus the dark. And it's like really integrating these two things, accepting, you know, both sides of ourselves. And with the five of pentacles and the queen of cups coming through, what I'm feeling is, you know, with the throat chakra, coming through, um, there is there uh, not being able to speak your truth, not being able to be authentic and who you truly are has left you feeling very isolated and very alone. Like you've been cast out and you're not being seen for who you truly are. And it's really interesting because the under the challenges is loneliness. And, you know, this is kind of the same feeling that I'm getting from this five of pentacles, but you guys, this is going to transform for you. Okay. If you've been feeling lonely, if you've been feeling misunderstood, like no one really sees you for who you are, um, that is going to change. It's, it's transforming with the queen of cups coming through. This is just reminding you that when you um, speak your truth, it's important that you speak your words with compassion and loving kindness. Um, and also really tap in to your intuition when you are speaking your truth. This is going to help you express yourself in a kind and loving way. It's like, you know, when we want to get our point across, it's better to whisper sometimes than to shout. Okay. It's all about the approach. Um, with the five of pentacles coming through, 
Um, and this difficulty in communication for you previously, I feel like there was a lot of frustration. And so when you were unable to really communicate your thoughts to people, uh, I'm just getting a very shut down energy. But again, that's all going to transform for you guys. And it's going to be one of the biggest blessings. It's really going to enhance your personal relationships and your, you know, your love relationships, um, relationship with family, friends, and in career as well. So this is something really beautiful, really beautiful coming in for you. Now, let's, um, let's see. About the challenge, so this says loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Um, you know, we are going through a very, we're, we're in a weird reality right now, you guys. Um, it is an illusion. I will say that what we're going through in the 3D, it is an illusion. We are never separate from spirit. We are never separated from our loved ones. We are all one. But I do feel that for some of you, there is deep loneliness. You are feeling very disconnected. And especially during this crazy time um, with the social distancing, and we just can't live our lives the way that we used to live them. So this has been a big, big challenge for some of you. And, you know, with that five of pentacles coming through too, I, I just am sensing that some of you are just kind of giving up hope that it's ever going to change. But you guys, I assure you, it is going to change. This is not going to last forever. Um, what this says is this card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. Okay. So again, I, I do feel as you move deeper into authenticity and come home to yourself and really appreciate and love yourself that this loneliness, this, this feeling of being shut out and isolated is going to shift. It's, it's really about your perspective. Okay. And this does say the pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Interesting. Yeah. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. And this is very true. And, you know, I, I do believe that COVID is happening for a very, very important reason. And it is so that we all have more time to self-reflect about how we've been living our lives, how we've been treating the earth, um, what we're wanting from our experience here, how we can contribute, how we can make changes to, to make this experience better, not only for ourselves, but for everyone. How do we take care of the earth? All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get um, a couple cards. <gasps> We've got the Ace of Swords. This is beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like a huge breakthrough is coming for you. And um, so this is not gonna challenge you much longer. You are, this is, this is amazing. Um, really amazing. This is about having clarity. So I do feel that a new perspective is going to be coming in for you and it's going to help you shift everything and that these feelings of being isolated and, you know, this loneliness, this inner loneliness, that is all going to disappear. Oh my gosh. And we've got the death card. Wow. You're going to transform this. It's not going to challenge you anymore. 
you're going to be going through profound changes. Wow, Taurus, I feel like you're really going through a massive, massive ascension right now. Many people are. You could be having ascension symptoms. I have been going through a massive ascension and, you know, um, not sleeping, waking up at two, four, six, um, it's been kind of crazy. So you may be going through the same thing, but with the death card, you know, this is profound change. It's the death, the rebirth, it's the releasing, um, it's rising from the ashes. It's very transformative. And so I, I do feel that any of you that have been feeling shut out and alone, this is transforming for you. All right, I like it. So the final card is the future. What is coming through for you in the future? We've got up in the air. This is from the Akashic Tarot. I love these cards. And this, this says, during this time in your life, there are aspects of an important situation that seem hidden to you. Isn't that interesting? Because we do have the high priestess up here. And that is about not everything has been revealed just yet. So um, this says you may feel a strong, almost urgent desire to know how it's going to turn out. You can connect with your spirit guides and the Akashic records and ask for a little insight. But there are elements that are unknown at this time, unknowable. There is too much about this situation that is still up in the air. This could be due to the influence of others who are undecided, or some events may not have yet come to pass, or unexpected discoveries are yet to be made. Wow. So, you know, this is about just trusting that everything is going to come together in due time, in divine timing, and knowing that all you seek will be revealed to you at the perfect time. Now, I want to um, pull a couple cards. This is um, the angel tarot deck. And, okay, there we go. There's one card. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so clarifying this, this, um, you know, unknown path, these unknown discoveries, we've got the eight of cups and the hanged man. This is like perfect because the eight of cups is about walking away from that that doesn't serve you. And, you know, that is, um, about leaving behind this part of yourself, this old version of yourself that isn't in alignment with who you've become. It's about going on a journey, a solo journey, and discovering what brings in happiness for you. What makes you feel like you are, you know, um, like you are emotionally satisfied? What brings in that emotional satisfaction? What makes you feel like you're living an authentic life? Um, yeah, this is about evolution and discovery and, you know, seeking that wish fulfillment, but it's within oneself. And with the hanged man, this is the angel of prophecy. So, wow, there is something that is going to be revealed to you with the hanged man and the high priestess coming through. Yeah, um, I do feel that some of you are going through uh, a leveling up process. And so right now, it is the time to just be going within. And this can feel very lonely. So I understand why the loneliness card is coming up as a challenge, but it's important to do this deep inner work so that we can see things 
from a higher perspective um, so that we can, um, you know, uh, illuminate those, those things in shadow in the darker places and have an understanding of how it all ties together, what it all means. So this is, this is absolutely beautiful. You are on a very spiritual journey right now, Taurus. Um, I do want to get one final card just to close out this reading. What do we need to know for Taurus? Okay, we've got fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and this is the throat chakra. So you guys, this has come up twice. So this is the message, speaking your truth, living authentically, being exactly who you are is going to get you where you want to go. Beautiful. All right, Taurus, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for joining me, and I'm sending you guys lots of love. Bye-bye.